Hey guys, it's John from Eastern Hot Rodder, and today we're over at uh, Russ Grimes' Hot Rod Guy Garage, and we're going to check out his uh, his Torino. He's a, it's a 70, right? Yeah. And he changed it up. He had a big block in it for years, and if you guys watched our coverage of the extracurricular car show activity, he was the one that did the, the big burnout out at the end. Um, he's changed it, and as you can tell from back there, you can see this little hair dryer on there now, but he didn't uh, turbo his big block. He swapped in a 306 from a, uh, a mid-90s Ford, and he put a cam in it, did the heads over on it, converted to fuel injection. He's got the turbo, and Russ, you said, what, is it 10 pounds of boost right now? Yeah, 10 pounds of boost, 76 millimeter turbo. And, and that's going through a C6 transmission Yeah, still. for C6 transmission. Yeah. He took his 411 gears out, and he put in, uh, what did he 325. So he's getting better gas mileage, making about the same power as the big block. He's still sorting some stuff out. But I wanted to show you this car because it's absolutely beautiful. Nice pretty red paint job. The fit and finish on the car is nice. The car is nice enough, but Russ has been accused of never using the car. So every time I see him, I always have to say, well, you don't drive it. <laughs> but he drives the tires off it. I drove it the rain this morning. That's right. <laughs> so he's uh, so we'll do a little walk around on it. And uh, um, I guess, well, I guess the first thing we have to say is he's, he's liked this car so much that he had to buy it three times. So he had it the first time when he was a kid, got rid of it, got it back, got rid of it, got it back again. Yep. So it's uh, um, so now it's a keeper? Yeah. Yeah. It's not going anywhere now. Yeah. It's... <laughs> the six cylinder is so much longer than the big block, you can see how close that fits to his radiator. The front end, uh, pulley on there is, is awful close, fits right in between the twin electric fans. Russ, the car stay nice and cool? Yeah. Yeah. It runs about 158 degrees. Does it really? Yeah, real cool. It fits, that six fits in there good. It looks cool, it's packaged up real good. Yeah. Did it feel much different than the big block? Yeah, I mean, it's a lot smoother, quieter. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah. Does it have that same low-end grunt that a big block has? Yeah, no believe it or not. Yeah. So you probably made the car even more street friendly. Yeah, with a better it gear. A more street friendly. Yeah. And he's got manual brakes on it, so there's no power brakes to worry about. No, manual. Nice and steering. Nice and simple, I like that. It's a uh, power steering button arm strong. Yeah. <laughs> So it's uh, check out. He's got the hood blacked out. Looks real nice. The like the scoop, the, the hood pins. It's just a beautiful, beautiful paint job on the car. Good wheel choice. Now, was this a Cobra originally? No. Okay. It's base model sports roof. Okay. And the sport roof it had the front half vinyl. Yeah. Russ was telling me a story about the steering wheel that's in there. That's the old uh, uh, wood steering wheel that was real popular back in the in the seventies and stuff. Yeah. And people keep asking why he doesn't want to take it out. And uh, tell them why, Russ. Well, my dad gave me a steering wheel for my thirteenth birthday. That's old Superior five hundred wheel. So that steering wheel's been in there since you were thirteen years old. Yep. Yeah. I put the same sun tag like I had in it, shift light, and the tri gauges down on the bottom and put the star shifter back in it like I had in it. That's really cool. And that was that the same style that's the bucket seat you had in it? Yeah. Because you, know, you said the last time you got it back, someone put a bench in it. Yeah, they were going to put a bench in it and then we'll get rid of the seats. Okay. And they ended up getting them back and put back in the car. Was that because the, the, the buckets were worth quite a bit more? Yeah. Than, yeah. Place look great on this. And this, I always like on these, I always like that mesh on that, that little kick up spoiler with that little mesh in there. It always yeah. looks good and sporty. Oh, it's a nine inch rear? Yeah, it's a nine inch rear. Okay, did they come factory with a nine inch? Mm -hmm. Okay, did they all? Yeah, were no, they? Uh, 351 Cleveland or bigger engines had the nine inch in them. Okay. The 302 and six cylinder cars had an eight inch. Okay. The eight inch stuff's getting hard to find now, too. Mm -hmm. Well, the street ride guys used that stuff up back in yeah. the 70s and 80s. You look at this, look how nice and straight this car is. The body lines are nice on it. Yeah, they got uh, yeah, the sport mirrors. Now, did, was this a sport mirror car? Were they all sport? No, we had a factory, just single chrome. Single mirror. chrome, yeah. Yeah, just uh, just a really cool car, and he's uh, you you check out his channel. It's Hot Rod Guy Garage. You, uh, here's the the decal for it. He's got a lot of cool stuff. He does a little little out of the box stuff. If you want, if you have a Geo Metro and you want to make it fast, he's the guy to talk to. Which one? That, that one replaced the V8, the LS Turbo one. Had. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, okay. And that one's still four cylinder. Yeah. Well, that one's V6 Turbo. Oh, really? Yeah. What's the way the V6 come out of? That's the 3800 Buick V6. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Little Buick power in there. Yeah. It's got G245. So think of it as a rear engine. Grand National. It weighs a quarter of what we weigh. Yeah, it's got to be from a car. Yeah. And in this one, he said he built it for his daughter to drive, and she's not interested in it yet. Yeah. And it's got a, a pretty wild looking paint job that he did on it. 
This one handles real good. It's got a, a uh, um, it's got a little secret under the hood. Yeah. Real dirty. Look at that. All aluminum LS 5.3. Fuel injected. This car, he said, it's very well balanced. Use the GTO pan, you said? Yep. To get the front sump back. Yep. And uh, it's sitting right about 50-50. So this, one, this one's a great car for these mountain roads around here. And this is a 71 grill? Yeah, 71. Okay. Yeah, now you mentioned I can see how much more tunnel the 71 yeah. headlights are over the 70. That's a good difference between formal roof cars and sports roof cars, too. Oh, this Same is a roof. formal roof? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you see them at... Yeah, big difference on the quarter one this year. Well, look at the quarter panel. Oh, yeah, side. yeah. It's, it's, good, for it's size. got a body line here. Yeah, but that one just fades off. Yeah, and rolls in. That's cool to have them side by side so you can see the difference on yeah. them. A lot of people don't notice. Yeah, that's a big difference, too. My buddy had a four door one of these in high school, and boy, they are yeah. homely looking when they're a ratty old four door. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, um, so check out his channel, Hot Rod Guy Garage. He's got a lot of cool stuff cooking on there all the time. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the short video. And well, I guess it's long form video, but it's yeah. still short in time. But it's uh, um, check his stuff out. He's he's over close to us. We're only about an hour apart in time, uh, so we end up running across each other's paths all the time at the different shows. We came out to Cleveland to go to the downtown cruise in, and as you can tell by the weather, uh, it got rained out. Yep. Yeah. As soon as they called it, it cleared out. <laughs> That's the way it goes. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Yep.